as unique in my action figures video, I'll have a diorama gallery at the end of the video. So please watch till the end. For those who follow my channel, and I guess that you probably have already watched my review video on the Great Nice Terminator, in Canis Newton and Candon Vivova. I don't know whether this is the right way of pronouncing. Incarnus Neoden Cadden Vibova. Well, at the end of that video, I said that these great knights figures are very expensive, so I only purchased two figures. Since that video released a month ago, I have been admiring at these two figures and start asking myself, perhaps I should get more. Well, two of them don't look nice enough or grand enough for display. So perhaps mm, better to have three. So I'm kind of changing my mind. <laughs> they are also very eye-pleasing figures. Quality and finishes are just amazing. So roughly two weeks ago, I start to look around in the internet, you know, to see, you know, whether I could get another Terminator. Terminator Jarlic 4. The price has gone up by 10 to 20 percent. That's crazy anyway. But. I'm not interested in this figure, rather I prefer to get the Terminator Regis Encanter. So the one that comes with a large banner. Luckily I found one um, which is selling less than 28% than a common retail price. So perhaps no one is interested in this figure. This is a less popular one so it was selling much cheaper than the other three. So in this video, we will focus on the uh, Encanter, but we'll also briefly look at the other two figures. Yes, you know, I've already done a video on them, but I'm not too happy with that video. And I didn't speak, you know, in the video at that time. Although I don't feel confident speaking in videos, I have started in my last two videos and this will be the third one. So I hope I'm doing okay. Everything is nicely organized, arranged and presented. Very nice. Well, the first thing that I realized straight away is it is very, very hard to put the pole into the hand. Oh, the hand is oh, it's kind of soft plastic, but it was just really hard to pull out the fingers. I try to squeeze that thing in it, but apparently the pole is much larger than the hole in the hand. So I have to really pull the fingers out. Oh, oh, very hard to pull it out actually. And try to squeeze it in the Do it again. Two thousand years later. See that is why the video is so long. <laughs> because I try to do this, right? See? Alright, done it. One of the main issue is, you know, the cartridge is blocking the pole, so it has to hold it in an angle all the time. You cannot make it really strict. You cannot actually hold it strict. The main feature in the Encanter is the banner, and in fact, during the PR stage, I am interested in getting it, but didn't because each Terminator costs almost hundred dollars Australian, or five hundred. Hong Kong dollars or 65 US. The other issue is I have the Ultramarine's hero of the chapter who also has a banner. You can watch my review video on this figure in the description below. The banner looks nice but because of the weight the hand cannot hold it strongly so you can see it's actually quite loose and the bottom of the pole always slipped so every time when I put it in display, I need to take a long time to put it in the right position. And these are the reasons why I didn't want to get the Encanter in the first place. So it was top heavy. See, always slip. Well, in terms of the size comparison to the Ultramarines Heroes of the Chapter, the banner um, is a little bit larger to the Ultramarines banner. So this is the height comparison between the two. So yeah, the banner looks more prominent compared to the Ultramarines one. Looks much better, but of course, you know, that is the Terminator. That is just a Space Marine. So, you know, having it larger makes sense. Enough said, so please enjoy the details in the next 30 seconds. And I will tell you what I think on the details.
banner definitely is a highlight of his figure. Um, look at the details, absolutely amazing. These are raised details, so you can see it's actually 3D. Looks pretty amazing. At first, I thought that you can disassemble the um, frame, but apparently it cannot. So this cost is one feature, it's fixed. Look at the amazing detail on the sculpts. So the banner is very nice, but I think because you know it doesn't do much, so people doesn't want to get it. But I'm always interested in it, but yeah, just try to save money so I did not get it at first place. The misses, very nice. I like this volcano with the lava, you know, exploding. Lava coming down as well. I like it. And for the rest of the figure, head is nice. The what is it? What do you call the Bible? <laughs> I don't know whether this should be called a Bible, but anyway, the book. Yeah, nice detail on the book. What I like is it is soft plastic, so if I hit it by accident, you see it doesn't break because it's soft plastic. So which is very good, very considerate in the design. I think the rest of the details look very close to the other figures as well, very similar. Except this one got a skull. You know, the, the one with the hammer with the um, shield. I really like this little shield on the shoulder. It looks really nice. It looks better than the one with the hammer. But looks similar to the one in Newton. As I said in the previous video before, you know, the inscribed text looks really, really nice. It is very deep. So it, it is very sharp as well, so it looks really nice. So making the figure looks heavy, you know, looks really, really, you know, strong and powerful. The back looks okay, but I really like the painting. Look at the, look at the finishes, it got this blue tongue on it. That is why I love it so much. I mean, it's just not pure silver, you know, it's silver with, you know, a bit of this kind of like variation on silver. Look at the blue tongue, very nice. I love this reflection. And I guess that's why it just drives me nuts. I'm thinking like, get another one, get another one. And I don't know why this figure is so cheap. Probably because the seller want to get rid of them. You know, probably have a lot of stocks. No one getting it, perhaps. So that is why I got it almost 30% cheaper. So in terms of articulation, I already covered that in the, you know, video on this too. But anyway, I quickly go through that, that's fine. Um, you know, the hand is good. You can actually, you know, rotate 360 degrees, bicep rotation, double hinge elbows. But I forgot to mention in the previous video, this type actually restricted from moving more than 90 degrees. It has the potential to move more than 90 degrees. And um, this is the... Um, 360 degrees rotation on the middle torso joint. It's a ball joint as well, so it has a multi-directional movement. Um, and also the waist joint. The waist joint, you can, I think you can turn 300, oh, you can, you can turn 300 degrees, okay. Oh, all right, don't, you see, don't turn it too much, don't twist it too much, it comes off as well. It happens all the time in joy toy figures, apparently. Legs, great. It can kick up high, can it? What did I say in my previous video? I forgot. Um, able to kick up high if I twist this panel there. Well, okay, it's okay. It's not really. It cannot really kick up very high. It's okay. How about the other one? It can barely kick up 90 degrees. It's close to 90 degrees, but it's okay. And double hinge knees, yep, it's not too bad, more than 90 degrees. Uh, ball hinge ankle, the tilt movement is quite restricted. I wish you can do more, but anyway, that's actually not too bad, that's okay. And lastly, the toe joint, uh, okay, 45 degrees only, which is better than nothing. Can you do more? Oh, that's alright, it's not too bad, you can. Alright, I think that sums up the articulation. So now comes to the end of this video. The Dharama Gallery. Please enjoy! <laughs>